Um, this song I wrote for my sister um, after her boyfriend decided to jump in front of a train the day after Valentine's Day.
They could fill that river With the widow's tears And they could fill his body With pointless years But that scar he gave me The hurt beneath my toughest skin. You left me on this corner, standing here. The cold wind whipping at my cold ear, and I wonder. Look in your eyes Why was you that left me here To live Lit. Come here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Charlie O'Melia. Well, Mr. J. Lit, Mr. Lit. Do you like to hold the microphone or you're okay with it on the stand? Okay. This guy's going to do something crazy. He doesn't have an instrument other than his body and mouth. That's hot. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Lit the Magic Kid. Woo! Okay, let's, uh, let's hear it for all those musicians that have been up so far, right? Right? Yeah, so I'm going to do something completely different. I don't have an instrument. I'm not going to sing. I'm going to do some, uh, some spoken word for you. Try to incite some nonviolence, all right? So, uh, so let's go. Before we precede, let me proceed with this. Coats needed for kids and votes needed for bids. And if you get yourself involved, it's gonna be a better cause. Fuck thinking that the problem's there is never ours. Cause who am I but a poem that you listen to? But when you listen, then that spirit now lives in you. And all of a sudden, it isn't words of hype. Turning type into action, act to unite. And we can try to say that we are killing for a cause And make a movie about it now we're dying for applause And blaming girls instead of blaming a push-up bra And a society that tells boys that they should brawl But that's what I'm about And you don't gotta like it You just gotta find your passion Read it and recite it And tell your friends on Facebook that they're invited And finger food and refreshments will be provided And I'ma spark a party started with some friends and weed And the only cover be that you mention me And if not, then just pay the entrance fee And that is please, just tell me what your interests be Tell me what kind of environment you think you need where do you get fresh food what kind of people put you in the best mood how many bulletproof vests harass you are you getting what you need to be the best you yes you i support your dreams community means being on the same team even if we're not on the same side we still use the same streets and the same lights and this the public's health fighting for nothing else put down the heaters before everybody fucking melts no click clack blows and soldiers telling you to stay down we got tic-tac-toe and kids jumping around the playground it isn't easy to achieve nonviolence, but it's way better than lost sons and mom silence and we should be alarmed even before we hear the sirens because shit's messed up right now i work for more kids with bigger dreams and less teens becoming parents let me see gorgeous rivers and streams and more teens loving their parents <laughs> chasing your dreams means you gotta run fast where's the nearest piece of open grass for you to run past and what if the only sidewalk that you got takes you past a line of chalk where somebody was shot so walk the other way down the block past a 7-eleven and a fat owl smoke shop where we cash checks a free carton of cigarettes and a bunch of other hustles that will put me in debt i don't need a magnifying glass to inspect i see clear bird's eye and they look like insects leeches and bugs from preachers to thugs call it what you want but you can't call it love because god wouldn't say that it's on her and the bullets wouldn't spray if the shots didn't hurt and there's some hidden meaning so i'm gonna break it down preachers want your money and the hustlers want the crown 
So preachers say that they got a direct line and thugs hide behind the phrase, I'm going to get mine, as if their actions are in our movements. And I'm just sitting thinking, what the fuck we doing? So before we precede, let me proceed with this. Coats needed for kids and hope needed to live. And if you get yourself involved, then we win. So breathe in. You can follow me on Twitter at, uh, at the Magic Kid Raps. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Jay Lit, the Magic Kid. Woo! Well, Mr. Paul Luther, it's been a while since I've seen you. It's nice to have you in the house. Test, 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 test. What's that? I know, I know that we're all old and it's getting late and it's almost 10 o'clock and it's so... Oh my goodness. But hang in there. We got two more performers. One of which is right here on this stage. This is Paul Lothar. I'm going to start with a song that was written by a guy born in Tyler, Texas, who's now living in Switzerland. But, and this guy has become a friend of mine over time. So. stand before you naked a red rose in my hand I offer you my wild heart I yield to your command I know the things we cannot change are numbered in the stars like diamonds flung across the sky shining from afar We'll be on those stars or others And beyond them even more As we gaze upon the river From a distant shore If I had my way I'd put an end To all this endless war And all those hungry children would go hungry no more Those ancient haunted hollow eyes A mother's silent plea But the only thing that we can change Begins with you and me We know the things we cannot change Are numbered in the stars Like diamonds flung across the sky Shining from afar We'll be on those stars or others And beyond them even more As we gaze upon the river From a distant shore Won't you come and walk beside me And give me your hand Let us go down to the river Where the waves wash on the sand Let us watch the sinking sun Bring the curtain down And gaze upon the evening star As the heavens roll around 
We know the things we cannot change are numbered in the stars Like diamonds flung across the sky, shining from afar We'll be on those stars or others, and be on them even more As we gaze upon the river from a distant shore I have gambled all my wages I have thrown away my life I have sought out all the places Where a man might try to hide I stand before you naked A red rose in my hand I offer you my wild heart I yield to your command I'm going to finish with one of my own that I wrote uh, in 2013. It's inspired by two, two things. One is a series of articles that began to appear in the paper starting around June. And the other is what I consider to be probably one of the finest run-on sentences in the English language. And it is a run-on sentence, so sometimes I don't get it straight the first time. But it goes something like this. The right of the people to be secure and their persons, houses, papers, and effect from unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, particularly describing the persons to be seized or the places or things to be searched. In the days since 9-11, it seems that it's been true. That our government's been watching over me and over you. They say this helps protect our land of the old red, white, and blue. And so to be a better patriot, now I know what I must do. I'm going to work for the NSA, spy on the neighbors every day. Read all they write, hear all they say, invade their privacy in every way. Yes, the president says that's okay. In fact, it may be the only way to keep those terrorists well at bay. So I'm going to work for the NSA. You know, I thought about it long and hard each day and every night. How we all should help our government to snoop on friends and foes alike. To peek into their living rooms with unrestrained delight. Knowing that we'll never have to worry about the Bill of Rights. That's why I'm going to work for the NSA. Spy on the neighbors every day. Read all they write, hear all they say. Invade their privacy in every way. Yes, the president says that's okay. In fact, it may be the only way. To keep those terrorists well at bay So I'm going to work for the NSA Now while other folks may find it odd It all makes sense to me That the price we pay for freedom Must come at the cost of liberty And that the government must have the right To ensure tranquility by tracking all the daily doings done by you and me And so I'm going to work for the NSA Spy on the neighbors every day Read all they write, hear all they say Invade their privacy in every way Yes, the government says that's okay In fact, it says it's the only way To keep those terrorists well at bay So I'm going to work for the NSA I'm going to work for the NSA Yes, I'm going to work for the NSA. Thank you. Thank you. I've got one performer left on my list. That was Paul Luther right there. He's got a new CD out. It just came out. He just handed me a copy. I'm excited to go home and listen. Ah, oh, what am I talking about? I've got a CD player in my car. I'm not waiting. Got Dan Kagan. Dan Kagan's the last guy on my list. He 
completes my trifecta of ukulele players. I believe I had a soprano earlier. We had a baritone earlier. And finally, a tenor is in the house. No, no, not at all. Good. 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 And now for the finest in hip hop, rap, ukulele playing. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a lie. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Kagan. Anybody mentions Tiny Tim, I'll see you outside. <laughs> well, not if you go out the back door, which is where all the interesting stuff happens. The second time I've done that one in public. Still a little slippery. Huh? That was Hall and Oates. A Hall and Oates, by the way. Yeah. I like the other guy. All right. <clears throat> Bruce, you need to plug in now? Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to do something else, and then I saw this fiddle. So I'm going to do a country song instead. Let me know when you're ready. Huh? This country. This is uh, 
This was a hit for George Jones before any of you were born. Uh, written by uh, Luke McDaniel. But I learned it from Graham Parsons off the Sweetheart of the Rodeo album. Ready? <clears throat> I'm in G. It's just G. Yep. G, C, D. That's it. All right. A uh, jukebox is playing. A honky tonk song. One more, I keep saying. And then I'll go home. What good will it do me? I know what I'll find. An empty bottle, a broken heart, and you're still on my mind. The people are laughing And having their fun While I sit here thinking About what you have done To try to forget you Turn to the wine An empty bottle A broken heart And you're still on my Forsaken, yeah. So blue I could cry. I just sit here drinking till the bottle runs dry. My pockets are empty. My legs glass of wine and a empty bottle a broken heart and you're still on my mind one more and a empty bottle a broken heart and you're still Thanks. Thank you, Bruce. That was good. Thanks, Rob. Nice job. Dan Kagan, thank you for coming. I'll keep that. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, that brings us to the end of yet another fantastic board and brew open mic. We do this every Tuesday night. Yeah, we can applaud for that. We're like, yeah, yeah, we made it to the end of another one. Woohoo! <coughs> We were broadcasting live tonight. If you want to go back and tune in on your performance and say, oh my God, what was I thinking? Or, oh, I ain't too bad. You can talk to me about how to find that. Um, but please, come back every Tuesday. We've got a wonderful thing going on here. Tell your friends. Draw them forth. And uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a good night.
Susan, I bet you're the last one if tuned you, in. Thank you. If you are Thank in you so the much. Food service business, you never give this as change. No? Ever. Okay. You know why? Tell us why, Bruce Lemons. Because you cannot tip a ten dollar tip on a ten dollar tab. You don't do that. Well, all right then. Down there? Down there is that where it, is that where it lives? Please. I'm okay. going to now get her to break this. I think <laughs> that's a probably a better idea. That's a good idea. All right. Good night. <laughs> Oh, there's a button. <laughs>